Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and today I'm answering a question from my email or in fact comment on my uh, article, previous article and I thought to shoot a video so it would be useful to more people than just uh, this person who is asking. So the question is about customizing Laravel registration and specifically uploading file during the registration. So for example, in this form I've created a demo project uh, you would need to add another field file field how do you how do you do that basically um, if you remember or not just I will remind you one of the articles about customization registration uh, one of the items was about adding more fields to registration form and we will do exactly that just that field would be a file name so that's a little specific but in general the logic is pretty similar so you add the field to the database with migration uh, you add that to fillable array to a model, then you add that to the form input, and then you need to modify create method in register controller. Uh, you modify that by adding another field. And that's pretty similar to what we will do now. Let's take a look at PHP Storm. Uh, so similar, in migrations, we add another field called avatar, and that would contain, contain a file name. Uh, in user, we add that avatar as fillable. Then in register blade, we add that as avatar field. And also don't forget if you have file fields on the form, you need to add this to the form and type multi-part form data. Otherwise, actually you won't see any error, but your files won't be uploaded. So don't forget that. And then in register controller, instead of adding a field, we add another logic underneath. So that's a little different than just adding a field. That function in register controller create uh, method it should return the user so instead of doing just return here we assign that to user and then do some magic with uploading the files now uploading the file it's, it's a really tricky question and topic because everyone wants that to be different uh, upload to public folder to storage folder upload uh, with a package like spider media library or directly with laravel how to rename the file, how to name that, uh, what folder uh, do you store. So that's really, really individual. But uh, in my case, for example, uh, what I've done is uh, got the original name from, from the file. And uh, remember, request is a global helper that actually you can access the request. So you don't need to pass the request here or something, uh, like you, you do something in controllers sometimes. So that's a global helper that can help us. Also, this has file is important. You can check the request has, uh, if the request has some variable, some input, but for file specifically, uh, don't forget to use has file, not has. Uh, then we, we have original name, and we store that in avatars folder and subfolder. That's my custom logic I would prefer to. So for example, uh, if I stay with original name, original file name, there's a uh, potential duplication. So what if someone uploads the same file name, right? So I create a subfolder called user ID and we do have user by then. So we have a user object and we can create a folder and then inside that folder we store that file. And then we update that user with that file uh, storing the file name. Let's try it out. Uh, refresh the form, form filler some dummy data some screenshot, register, uh, register is successful. Now let's take a look at our file system in project, uh, storage, app, public, contains avatars, and this is folder ID number seven, which is user ID, and this is the file name. In the database, we have a new user on top of my testing yesterday uh, with file name here. And uh, remember that in my case, it's stored in storage app public. How did I do that and how does it work in general? So there, there is a file called config file systems. And by default, the disk that it stores to is local. I've changed that to public. If it was local, then down below, it stores all the files local in storage app. Uh, if you want it to be public, you choose this public disk, public disk, uh, and then it stores to storage app public. But even then, it's not uh, accessible to the browser until you do some commands. So by default, you would have storage, avatars, uh, ID7, and file name is this one. 
this one dot png and that should throw 404 but uh, by default that folder isn't accessible to the public but there is a command that makes it accessible and it is php artisan storage link it creates a sim link from public folder and then if we refresh the page our file is uh, found and also if you notice what does it do inside of public folder uh, let's go up inside of public folder there is a new kind of a file uh, sim link to storage which makes all that magic happen so I hope that video was helpful both to the person who added the comment and to others who watched this video if you have any other questions or comments or any situations like that uh, shoot the comment below or email me directly and maybe I will comment your situation help you personally and also to other audience. See you guys in other videos on this channel.